Hi everybody, welcome back to the farm and welcome back to my vlog. So, um, early start this morning, uh, the uh, sunflowers are ready to harvest, so I had to get the combine sorted out, remove the standard header. Um, uh, unfortunately, my uncle already had a um, sunflower and corn header, so uh, put that on, it was just stored in the back, it's not ideal really. Uh, yeah, I hadn't realised at this point that um, actually it probably should have had a bit of work done on it before we did it, but the corn's getting ready, looking good. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get this done because of course at the end of the last, uh, in the last episode, yesterday, end of yesterday, um, I had been um, mowing, and w mowing and wintering up the grass um, out in our grass pastures uh, that I just discovered. So. Uh, you know, next thing was to uh, to get that baled up and wrapped. But I did really want to get these sunflowers in. Now they were ready. It's quite a narrow header and a relatively. It's not. I mean, it's not a large field because it's only a part of this field. But it's uh, for the for the size of header. It was uh, yeah, quite a big job. So I'm not going to show all of it as I've talked about before. I've done plenty of harvesting, seeding, slurrying, and cultivating and everything else uh, on this field so I'm um, trying to reduce the amount of footage that I'm showing until we get to the point where we can buy new stuff be that equipment to get it done quicker or more fields to show something else to do uh, but yeah it, it, it took a while um, as I expected but yeah, I didn't show all of the all of the footage but it was um, it was a pretty good harvest really quite nice to do some flowers something a bit different so I'll need to check out um, some of the local um, merchants and see how much I might be able to get um, so we can uh, plow the money back into the farm should be getting that money from my sale of my place soon and then we can uh, start seeing what we've got thinking about um, well, I guess what we do next with uh, with it and so invest in uh, building up the farm and, uh, and and start to diversify a little bit or at least expand anyway I'll stop wittering. Right, well, I needed to get the uh, bit of work done, so I brought the combine up. I'll uh, can work on that later. In the meantime, I'll take the new Holland back with the uh, cedar. Uh, that I'd, I'd brought that up yesterday after, uh, after doing the seeding and uh, did a bit of work on it. So I'll just take this back to the yard. Chickens are doing well. Uh, probably need time to sell some eggs actually, but I keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, so I, uh, <laughs> I should have, uh, I should have really worked on that header before, uh, uh, before I did the harvesting. I hadn't realised quite what state it was in. That's a bit silly. Uh, noob's mistake, if you like. Um, I should have checked it before we used it. Of course, it had been sat there for a while, but it got the job done. So yeah, I'll do quite a bit of work on that and uh, just tweak the harvester, make sure it's ready. So yeah, I'll just put this back in here and uh, we'll get on with the next job. So as I mentioned, here we are, baling up the grass. Uh, so I bent the store and got this nice uh, Pottinger baler. It's quite a nice baler, actually, quite a modern design. Um, obviously, very different to what I've used uh, previously. Um, but uh, but yeah, so I just went round, baled up all the grass, got it ready. Took a little while. It's uh, round baling, of course, it's a bit stop-start, um, <laughs> and they didn't have that little gadget that I got. Uh, when we were down on the coast, uh, where I could just bail it straight off, um, but uh, and the, all the baler wrappers are quite expensive, so it's fine. We had the time in the end, having got that sunflower harvest done earlier in the day. Uh, no rush to get the harvester ready and the header ready to do the corn. That'll be a, a few more days yet before that's ready to go. I think. Um, so yeah, it was fine. This was my job for the day.
So here we are next stage. So it's quite a lot of stages in, in doing this. I mean, what we've mowed it yesterday, then we windrowed it, and then we baled it. And I've got this McHale um, wrapper, which again, just uh, borrowed it from the store, rented it from the store, just for the day. So a bit of a job to get them all done. I think it'll see us through till evening because we'll also want to sell them. But um, But again, it's quite therapeutic, quite relaxing reasonably chilled you can't you know you can only go so fast it's not an awful lot you can do about it so you just have to sit back and get on with it but yeah it was good it was nice to be uh, working in a different part of the farm given that i just found out that we got it um just checking where we've got bales and where we don't so i don't miss any but uh but yeah i was good it was a good job There we go, so that's the wrapping done. Now I've been and got one of these auto stack trailers, it's not a particularly big one, but it didn't need to be, we haven't got that many bales, only a few trips, and I'm only taking them up to the uh, to the animal dealer, selling, selling it to them, they'll, they'll store them and then um, use them for the, for the animals. Um, but yeah, it was quite late in the evening, I undernawed about manually stacking, but that would have taken me an age, so I spent a little bit more and got this uh, auto stack trailer thing versus um, but yeah so first trip seven o'clock already first trip the animal dealer they stayed open late for me uh, but yeah a, a good price it's a good money owner actually quite a lot of equipment you have to lease to do it of course but oh, hopefully one of these days we'll have the money to uh, to buy some of this stuff right here we go last load going in and uh, yeah 20 to 8 so I mean that was just picking them up with this so I'm certainly glad that I didn't uh, do a manual stack that would just have taken forever but uh, yeah earned us a nice bit of money anyway not masses but you know there's only a couple of loads in the end but um, but you know more than covered the expense we made good use of the grass we've got a bit of money out of it so uh, so definitely worth doing um, but yeah so we're uh, we're ending the day a little bit a little bit better off and we've still got the uh, the sunflowers to sell but that's it it's getting dark end of the day so thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it uh like subscriptions very much appreciated quite like to get a few more people watching these videos watching my vlog supporting me as i build the farm up and uh Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.